Hello there everyone, UWBXL here, and I'd like you all to know that we here at the National String Cheese Affirmation Bureau Division of Walsh Motors and Stereo Dust Particles take the business of upgrading your computer extraordinarily seriously. That's why around this time last year when a viewer wrote in asking if we could offer any hints and tips on expanding Wi-Fi connectivity with common household items such as silverware, well, I knew that in about a year's time, we'd be ready to do exactly that. So let's take a closer look at the process. First, you'll need to figure out what kind of signal improvement your Wi-Fi situation stipulates. If you're simply trying to get better Wi-Fi performance around your home, choose something like a fork or a knife from your silverware door. If, on the other hand, you're trying to figure out what kind of bizarre things your neighbors are into, like garden tiller pornography, or you happen to work for the government, you should choose the spoon, as the spoon works similarly to a parabolic reflector and can precisely receive Wi-Fi signals when it is pointed at them even over very great distances. Next, you'll need to figure out what kind of computer you have. If you are incapable of figuring out what kind of computer you have, may I suggest that perhaps computers aren't for you. I would suggest taking up croquet in that case. If you have an Apple Macintosh computer, all you need to do is simply affix the antenna to the computer, which is easily facilitated through the magnets that are built in around the display bezel. It couldn't possibly be easier. Again, if you find this too difficult, I would suggest perhaps taking up croquet. Should you find that you have a computer manufactured by Hewlett Packard, your Wi-Fi upgrade process is also exceedingly simple. Once you have chosen the appropriate silverware-based antenna for your needs, simply turn the computer's power on and secure the handle of the silverware you have chosen within the USB port. Please note that liberal use of hot glue may be required for reliable signal strength. Don't worry about installing or configuring any software. Plug and play within your operating system will take care of the rest. And finally, should you find that you have a personal computer running any operating system from any other manufacturer not previously mentioned here, all you will need are a few simple hand tools along with your chosen antenna to seamlessly and flawlessly affect the upgrade. You will need a screwdriver, an adjustable wrench or spanner if you live across the pond, and also a computer grade data hammer. Other tools that you will undoubtedly require in order to successfully complete this task and which you should have readily available at your disposal include, but are most certainly not limited to, and boy oh boy are there ever a lot of them, a gasoline cap, another screwdriver, a pair of side cutters, a wood plane, a test lamp, and of course, a brake spring depressor tool. Likewise, because you are working with hazardous levels of energy at hazardous frequencies, you will want to make sure that you have an excessive Wi-Fi exposure detection alarm at your disposal. A smoke detector is recommended but not required. Having just a few extra computers at your disposal is never a bad idea, especially if something happens during the network connectivity upgrade process, leaving your primary computer disabled. Then you have other systems you can fall back on to perform Google searches or other types of problem-solving related research. And finally, in order to complete this task successfully, you must have, in the exact order presented, all of the tools you are about to see, starting with a hot glue gun, a multimeter, electric toaster oven, magnetically attached temperature probe, a rubberized USB flash drive, precision electric desoldering iron, in-dash multi-disc compact disc changer, electric screwdriver with electricity detector, and LED headlights black and white security surveillance monitor, leading brand name laundry detergents, 10 brand new unformatted high density three and a half inch floppy diskettes, and a high quality magnetic bulk tape eraser. A computer speaker system magnetically shielded to avoid unfortunate accidents. An uninterruptible power supply with good batteries installed. Make that very good batteries. A candy ham. A brand new in its box vacuum tube or valve for our viewers across the pond of any particular type. A SIP. Missing pins are of course completely optional. Light bulbs. Any wattage but the bigger the better and the faster this thing will go. Extra batteries because what in life doesn't need those. A portable television set. 
plug-in programmable timer with dimming capabilities. Sheath jumper wires to be used only in accordance with the most current revision of the National Electrical Code, United States viewers only. A pair of speakers. Isopropyl rubbing alcohol of a high percentage, sometimes also informally referred to as fool's vodka. Ask for it by either name at any store where pharmaceuticals are sold, recreational or otherwise. A token ring MAU. Postscript error pages. Assorted computer expansion cards. A Casingle. RAID configuration utility for personal computers. A tube of clock. Model railroad locomotives, the gauge is up to you. Electric coffee grinder. Mini DV video cassette. Undoubtedly dangerous electrical adapter contraptions. A big wrinkly stuffed dog. Or a real dog, if you have one. Exit sign. Lava lamps and a plasma ball. A crook's radiometer. High precision, low wattage soldering tools, or soldering if you absolutely insist. A dumpster. Well, now that you've gone and gotten all those tools that you'll need for this procedure, and I certainly hope you have them all and that you've got them all in order, otherwise really bad things are going to happen, well, you'd probably be expecting me to tell you all about how to use those tools to improve your computer's Wi-Fi capabilities. But you know what? The truth of the matter is, going and getting all those tools and determining the right order in which to use them for the course of making this video, it's just left me feeling kind of worn out. I think I need to sleep a year on this. Oh, yeah. I definitely feel a nap coming on big time. So I'll tell you what. Thank you as always for watching. And by all means, do feel free to leave a comment if you have one. Oh, and don't stick anything made of conductive material into a USB port on any computer unless you really, really hate it. Good night, everybody. Fastest nap in the world right there. <laughs>